Hello Capricorn, we're going to do your tarot and oracle card reading for October 28th and 29th. Uh, we're going we're gonna to draw five of the tea leaf fortune cards, two of the energy cards, and probably one of the guardian angel cards. Then I'll do a three card tarot spread at the end. Let's see, one, two, three. Whoa, goodness. You know what? We're just going to take them all because there are no accidents in life. When things like that happen, that's why they happen. They're meant to. All right. So first we have flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards, Capricorn. Don't settle. Bell, an announcement. There could be a birth announcement, be a wedding announcement, something like that. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Could be a fire sign too. Bridge, successfully overcoming a problem. That's always good to see. Whatever this clear, unclear thinking is about, it's not really not causing a problem with how you solve stuff. Beetle, good fortune. Woohoo. Like that one. Fly, a period of ill health or depression. And of course, it's not going to be everybody. But if you're having any of those issues, there's lots of people that can help with things like anything from medicine to therapist. There's telehealth now. Dragon. Beware of self-delusion. This might go with the unclear thinking. Beware of self-delusion. Finger. Warning you of a problem either now or in the near future is something pointing towards a problem. We shall see. Let's get two of the energy cards for Capricorn. Capricorn, uh, October 28th, 29th. And I usually use these to represent the theme in my readings. Ah, beautiful. Goddess of the Moon. Some Pisces energy. Some high priestess energy. Goddess of the moon and door to romance. Hello. We've got the good stuff. And the number 33. There is a little bit of anxiety on the bottom. So somebody is going through some period of having to mentally cope with things. Emotionally handle things. Let's see what the guardian angels have to say for Capricorn. Angel of learning. Somebody else got this. Virgo got this. Angel of learning. So let's just put it right there. I'll read from the book for you on this one. Learning is part of my spiritual growth. The more that I learn, the greater my connection to the wonders of the universe will be. When we undertake any kind of learning, we can lack the confidence that we have, uh, that w what we need to achieve our goals. And the angel of learning is here to reassure you that you have all the support and guidance that you require Knowledge is ageless and gives me intellectual power. My angel of learning is guiding me in the right direction to learn what is important for my future spiritual growth. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now we'll do a three card spread. What Capricorn needs to embrace in life right now. What they need to accept and what they need to let go of. We're Capricorn. Woo. 
Poor Capricorn. Hmm. You know, bridge and finger could go together in the sense that, you know, there's a problem, there's an issue that the finger is pointing at, and the bridge gives you the ability to solve that. And these are just, you know, this is like the high priestess using your intuition, Capricorn, being a uh, very within, maybe keeping secrets. Door to romance is, it can be new love. It doesn't have to be. Sometimes it can be older love rekindled. But it is romance. I think we're ready. What you need to embrace, Capricorn, that you've got choices. Choices. You have decisions to make, but you've got lots of choices, and they're all emotional. What you need to accept, that you're carrying a lot right now, but it's ending, and it's going to be the end of it. And what you need to let go, Spirit's saying let go of that anxiety and worry. It's not serving you. So, the many choices that you have, whoo. Sudden change, you have the tower card. So we have some, and it's being clarified by the tower. So it's not like the tower is the main card here. What it's wanting you to embrace is change. And in the sense that when you embrace change, look how many options open up for you. So embrace change. The 10 of wands here for what you need to accept is the fact that you've carried a lot. You've carried a lot more than your share, um, maybe even burdened sometimes. It's the end of that, though. Somebody's becoming independent. Somebody's getting their finances in order. Then this is going to be the end of carrying all the weight yourself. Spirit says you've dealt with this anxiety and you've dealt with this depression long enough. It's not stored in your body. It's ready to leave. Or clarified by competition. Um, the seven of wands, the constant need to defend and be kind of spiteful. That is ending. That's ending. That and the anxiety, it's all ending. Embrace change. Embrace a new way of viewing things. Accept the fact that, yes, things were hard, but that is the end of the hard. And we definitely the ending. Look. Yeah. Definitely the ending. We've got nine, nine. Nines also are like a completion. So that's just beautiful. And you've got seven, seven, nine, nine. 10. It's a good, it was a good reading. And look, you are, <laughs> your card sitting on the bottom with the celebration card. And the four of wands, definitely some milestones being met, some truth, some clarity to a situation. And you get your happy, your happy cups there, your 10 of cups. Come with a big decision that's being made. All right. Thank you so much, Capricorn. I hope you all like this. Have a nice day or night, whichever it is.